I like the way you work here. Life outside the classroom is as much a part of the Haverford experience as is time spent in the classroom. There are a lot of clubs. I just was accepted into the Throng, which is an improv comedy group on campus. I'm not ready for you to go! With more than 175 clubs and organizations to choose from, extracurriculars at Haverford provide the opportunity for students to develop and pursue passions, connect with the incredible people who are part of this community, and stretch themselves to try new things. I'm a part of ALAS, which is the Alliance of Latin American Students. There are more a cappella groups than I can keep track of. The highest number per capita of any U.S. college. I'm a student representative on DIG, the Diversity Initiatives Group. We have Black Students League, Muslim Students Association, Jewish Students Union. No matter what your interest, Haverford no doubt has a club that will satisfy it. If not, the close-knit community ensures you'll easily find others who will share your enthusiasm. Or if there's something that you see is missing from the Haverford's campus, it's very easy to get that started. I, just a couple of students going, wouldn't it be cool if Haverford had dot dot dot? And from then on, you just run with it and have to make sure that it happens. The student activities budget is administered by the Students' Council and provides support for this incredible range of activities. At Haverford, you'll find yourself doing things you no, may have done uh, before. I have that written down for issue eight. Things you may never have had the chance to experience. You've been listening to WHRC from Martin Haverford at College Radio. And things you've never even heard of. Quaker bouncers? There's your college IDs. Thank you. Extracurriculars are a crucial part of undergraduate education and are important in helping them understand the world. Haverford's Quaker roots draw many students who want to make a difference in the world. They can find a home in service organizations like Eighth Dimension, whose street outreach program delivers food and conversation to Philadelphia's homeless community. To just speak to this marginalized group of people that society has kind of pushed away and have a relationship and say that they matter. Both groups, I think, end up getting a shot in the arm out of it. Okay. The Center for Peace and Global Citizenship offers internships for students who want to work on issues of peace and social justice that are tied to their academic work. So a student will come and say, I'd like to do this particular project and I'd like to do an eight to ten week internship related around this issue and I'd like to apply for funding through the center. Haverford has a goal to foster social responsibility among the students here so that what we learn in the classroom doesn't stay in the classroom. Extracurricular activities help the students in the classroom as well. They help them in terms of their confidence, in the way that they'll speak out, in the way that they will interact with others as well. 